Question number eight on our review uses proportions with parallel lines. Sometimes this is called the three parallel lines theorem. This theorem tells us that if three parallel lines intersect two transversals, then the segments that are intercepted by the transversal are proportional. So you can see in the diagram here that my two transversals that are intersecting the parallel lines are this one here and this one there. What this theorem tells us is that the segments intercepted on the transversals are proportional. So that A over B is going to be equal to C over D. We can use this theorem to solve the next couple questions here on our review. On problem eight, notice that we have, well, in this first diagram, we do have three parallel lines. I realize they're not marked parallel, but because all three of these angles are the same, and those would be corresponding angles, we know that the lines must be parallel. So I have three parallel lines right there. And we know that the segments intercepted on the transversals have to be proportional to each other. So the C over 32 would have to match up with the 21 over 28. Then we can solve it with a cross product. So C times 28 equals 32 times 21. And putting that into our calculator, we get 28C equals 672. Then just divide each side by 28. And when you divide that out, you'll end up with C equal 24. So my missing side here is 24. Now my second picture requires a little bit of work to kind of set it up. You can see that the 2x minus 6 goes with the 16. On that second transversal. But notice that our first transversal here doesn't give me the length of this piece right here. It gives me the total of 21. So that piece is just 21 minus 9. And 21 minus 9 is 12. Okay, I did that because I knew the total here was 21. And if the top half is 9, the bottom half is just 21 minus 9, which makes it 12. So now I can match those up. And again, I'm going in the same direction. So 9 over 12. And now we have a proportion that we can solve once again with the cross product property. So 12 times 2x minus 6 equals 16 times 9. On the left side, you need to do your distributive property. So that would be 12 times 2x, so 24x. 12 times 6 is 72. So 24x minus 72 equals 9 times 16, which is 144. Now let's collect all the x's on one side. So I'm going to add 72 to each side. That gets us down to 24x equals, and you add those numbers up and you get 216. And now we're just one step away from our answer. Divide each side by 24. And when you do 216 divided by 24, you end up with nine. So x is equal to nine is your answer to that second one.